Howdy folks, welcome to the third video in my new series on how to survive the end times or the apocalypse. In this video I'm going to go over items that I use off grid to deal with lights and power and keeping cool and things like that. So grab yourself a pen and paper and uh, hopefully I'll give you some ideas of things that you may not have thought of. So let's go. These are my normal disclaimers. And I have to say, I am not a doctor. I am not a financial advisor. I am not an authority figure of any sort. So do your own research. I am just showing you here how I have been living without power and living off grid for over eight years now. All right, here we go. Okay, light what to do if you don't have power and you need light this has been an issue with me because being off grid i've actually lived here with a generator and i've lived here without a generator and i have been completely out of power quite a few times so what i'm going to suggest to you here are a lot of different options and things that i've had to use myself but the worst thing in the world folks is to not have enough light at night it will mess with your psyche, it'll mess with your state of mind, and you can't really get much done at night unless you have proper lighting. It's really important to have a good amount of light at night. And it can be something difficult, so you have to think about it ahead of time. And I'm gonna give you very a lot of different options. First off, the things that people think of are candles. Well, certain types of candles don't give a lot of light. So what I would recommend to you folks is taper candles, the ones here on the right. These are the best when it comes to how much light they give out. They're very, very bright and they give out the most amount of light for, of any other kind of candle. So the taper candles are probably your best bet for really providing your, you light to work around with. Second to that, is I use tea light candles, or you can use smaller candles, but put them in a glass enclosure that has some kind of uh, either pattern to it or etching or something that helps break up the light. Because I want these ones that I have that are broken like this, I don't mean broken, but that have some kind of pattern to the glass, they actually help multiply the light a lot better than just a solid glass. So keep that in mind. But what I found is these crystal kind of uh, candle holders that you put candles in really help amplify the light versus just a plain solid glass. Another thing you might want to look into is USB lights. The best lights that I've had when it comes to the power consumption is this little snake looking thing down here. I got these at Ikea many years ago, but these will run on a little USB battery all night long. This one up here is more of a fluorescent type of light and I got this thing at a dollar store at the King Dollar down here in Texas. And it uses a lot of power though. This one up here uses probably about four or five times as much power as this little USB light does that I got at Ikea. But the Ikea one is also, it's more of a candlelight yellow color versus the one on top is really bright and it's more of a white light. So look into little USB lamps and USB lights they're not very expensive at all, like a few dollars each, or you can get more expensive ones too. One thing that's on my list that I had not been able to get yet is like a hurricane lamp or an oil lamp, but that's probably another option. And with those, again, I would choose the ones that have some kind of etching or pattern in the glass versus ones that are just solid open glass they will reflect the light a lot better. And then what I use the most is my rechargeable lights. This one on the right came with my drill. It was a Black & Decker kit that had a little circular saw and a drill, but this is a shop light and I can recharge the battery. It uses the same battery as the tools. 
Well, the last time my generator broke, I used that most evenings and it worked really well. And then this flashlight here to the left is a rechargeable USB flashlight. This thing is super bright. It was given to me. These things aren't very cheap. They're, they tend to be, you know, probably about 30 bucks or more, but it's worth it. It it's lasts a couple days when I have to go and walk the dog at night. I use it all the time, and it works so well. So keep in, you know, keep in mind on your list, rechargeable lighting as well. And then these are really old. That's why the knobs are broken off this one. And on this guy, the crank is broken. But both of these are flashlights as well as emergency radios. And this one on the bottom has got a solar panel on the back. They both have little solar panels on them. So I can put them out in the sun to charge. This one on the bottom, I found a cable that was USB to USB so I could charge it by cable but the one on the bottom here you can also put regular AA batteries in and then the one on the top I can use solar I can hand crank charge it and I've also had flashlights that are just hand charge flashlights the crank charge flashlights and those work really well as, as well so keep those in mind for backup lighting and then battery operated lights so these ones over here I got at the dollar store. Again, they don't have to be very expensive. But if you get little electronics at the dollar store, two is one and one is none. Okay, get a few because these things are cheap. They're made in China. They will break. So you want to get more than one if you can. And this light on the left works really well. I got that at the Dollar General. They were about $10 each. And they take three AAA batteries and provide a decent amount of light for an evening. And then a, a dimmer light for a day or two on a solid battery load. So think about battery operated. And having a collection of all of these different types of lights has saved my behind. Because I've been out of candles. I've been out of batteries. So having a variety has really made a big difference. And... I'm in Texas. This week it's around 100 and I've also worked outdoors a lot so keeping cool if you don't have power and you don't have air conditioning there are many different ways you can keep cool and one of the best things is a spray bottle. I couldn't tell you how many days that I had to take the hottest part of the day and just sit in front of a fan with a spray bottle and don't underestimate a handheld regular old-fashioned manual fan as well but I had fans that run from USB you can get those at dollar stores and you can get them online I had fans that run off batteries so there's a lot you can do there but consider these little fans and definitely get you a few spray bottles that will make a big difference there are a lot of other ways of keeping cool without power like having a swamp cooler so I would suggest you look into those, but those weren't an option for me because I don't have a refrigerator, so I don't have a freezer, and I couldn't afford ice. And that might become, it, become an issue for you folks as well. So keep in mind, little handheld or battery operated, different ways to keep cool in your preps. Power. Now here's another where a variety is a spice of life. Variety made a huge difference especially last month we had an early heat spell out here where it got to be over 95 degrees and I did not have a generator I did not have AC and so I had no way of recharging my battery bank and power had become a big issue so variety is a spice of life with power I have little batteries I have larger 12 volt deep cycle like yacht batteries but the other thing I have collected is re, uh, rechargeable AA batteries and rechargeable little USB power packs. Those have made a wonderful difference, just unbelievable, because I'm able to charge the AA batteries that go into my battery-operated fan, so at night when the generator's off, I have a fan that I can use, and I can also uh, put them in this little gadget here is a double A to USB little power pack that I found at a dollar store. I think I found those at Dollar Tree 
long time ago. But these have been wonderful too. Because when I've used up all of the regular USB power packs, I can put batteries into this and convert that into uh, USB power. And USB appliances have been amazing. They use less power, they're portable, they're easy. But get yourself a collection of different types of batteries. This was, my neighbor gave me this little battery that was pulled out of something or another, I don't know. But I have an inverter here that, can, that hooks to the battery and converts it into your little 12 volt sockets. And then I have the 12 volt like cigarette adapter type of inverter that converts that to USB. So having USB appliances and USB power has been a godsend for me. And also having rechargeable AA and other types of batteries so that if we have rolling blackouts in the summer or anytime actually, you can charge up your batteries when the power's on and that will give you power to get you by while the power's off. So consider batteries, all sorts of batteries and rechargeable batteries and then inverters. I've got inverters that hook straight up to a battery and then I've got these types of inverters as well. So consider getting inverters because there was a night or two where I needed to get online to check my email or whatever. I had to go out to my truck and start the truck and plug in my inverter so I could run my laptop for a little while. So these types of inverters are not very expensive. So you can start small with your power preps and then go from there. Okay, well thank you folks for your time. I hope I've given you some good ideas to help you survive and thrive through these awful times. We are at war folks and it's the billionaires against the people, the everyday people. And they are coming at us through our medical system. They are coming at us through our food. They are coming at us through our cost of living. So we have to do everything we can to be as self-sufficient as possible or we're not going to live through this. So I hope you guys are inspired to get out there and start preparing, making yourself feel more empowered. Godspeed to you and your family. Thank you guys so much. Take care and uh, y'all come back now, you hear? Bye.